Well everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So I wanted to show you guys a combo that I personally think is quite underrated, especially in today's game balance. And I just wanted to recommend it to some people and maybe have you guys start using it in the future. So the combo I'm using is Hornet Magnum with Armor Piercing Rounds. Now it's called, it's not called Armor Piercing Rounds, it's called something else that's kind of goofy, but uh, it's honestly quite decent. I I honestly think Magnum's a really underrated turret, and that's just because it has kind of an annoying skill barrier towards it that a lot of people have a lot of trouble, like, getting used to. But I quite enjoy the skill-based augments and such. Okay, that was a total shot. Dear Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, that was a whiff or whiff on my end. I deserve to die after that. I quite enjoy the combos that have a skill barrier to them because it makes it just more rewarding to get kills. Like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best with this either. You can obviously use a different augment or hole with this. Oh, oh that was a cool kill. But it, honestly, I think it works really well with Hornet and just being fast and being able to move around a bunch is really nice. Okay, I whiffed, but... Oh, why am I... No, I still got him, I still got him. It does a lot of splash damage as well, so you need to kind of play your situations a bit differently so you don't end up... Okay, that guy almost killed me. Dude, the splash damage is crazy in this. Honestly, Magnum just has crazy splash damage in general, which is really nice. And the shot effects for it also look sick as heck. Like, look look at the shot effect. Blue? That looks crazy. It's probably... This turret probably has the best look for different shot effects that I can think of. All right, I went ahead and switched to Trickster Drone so I can show you guys that it's still good even without Crisis. Even though a lot of people here should be getting Crisis very soon. So that's pretty nice. A lot of people are going to be getting Crisis with the tanky fund and such. Okay, kill him. Back off a little bit. Let's move over here. Where are the enemies? Okay, no, I think I'm good. This guy's running. I'm gonna go after this guy first. Oh, I, I whiffed, I whiffed hard. All right, use my overdrive. Boom, kill him in one tap. That was a nice kill. Also kill this guy. That has to be a joke. That's, okay, that's kind of funny though. That's kind of funny. All right, armor piercing. Also guys, Christmas is coming up. I'm very excited for that. The Christmas event should be about next weekend, I believe. Yeah, it should be next weekend, I think. I'm really excited for that because the New Year's, Halloween, and then like maybe Tanky Birthday are my favorite events in the game. The whole mood from Christmas and New Year's just makes the events 10 times better. My favorite months of the year have to be October, November, and December just because the mood during those months is just so nice. Dude, I, I'm actually whiffing so hardcore. It's sad. I was versing someone the other day who was just incredible with Magnum and he kept hitting me cross shots. It was probably the most annoying player I've ever gone against. Dude, having speed in these modes can get quite annoying when you're going against people with Crisis or Trickster in these modes. Because then it's just easy for people to get in and out of your base. Boom. I don't know. One tap. That's actually surprising. Boom. I can one tap this guy. Nice. Got that kill. You get crit damage a lot as well on this. So that's also nice. I was doing good the other day, but I'm kind of trash right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I can kill this dude as long as he doesn't repair. Boom, got him. Okay, that guy wants to murder me. I can already tell. And he has Scorpion. That thing's broken. That thing one-taps me every time. Oh, oh! Nope. I'm trash. Lol. That guy flipped too. That's funny. Okay, gold drop and bet. Look at that. Gold drop. Gold box will be dropped in the middle of the screen. That's so sick looking. Now I actually have to find the gold first. Where the heck is this thing? Come on. No way. My overdrive didn't one-tap him? That's surprising. They need to buff the Hornet overdrive again. Like, seriously, Hornet Overdrive is so underwhelming these days. Alright, I'm in a new battle, just because that last one ended. Oh my lord, run. Can I- oh my- I whiffed my shot, you're joking. Of course I whiffed. And of course there's swarm rockets coming out of nowhere. Where did those even come from, man? Bro, why am I going against the biggest chads in the world? That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I'm not a chad. I don't want to be going against these guys. I'm gonna get destroyed here. What the heck, man? Oh, one tap that guy. I just gotta play my situations here, because I don't think they can kill me if I play it smart. Got him, okay. Armor piercing. Boom. It's unfortunate that he's using Ares. Have you guys noticed recently that there's so many people using Ares? It's probably the most annoyed I... What the heck? Bro, shoot the enemy team. Not me. It's probably the most annoyed I've been playing in games recently. All right, bet, I got Rio. Rio's probably my favorite map, either that or Silence. I always go back on back and forth on that just because I have no clue. Because both maps are really enjoyable. Rio, you just gotta love how unique it is compared to most other maps in the game. Oh my gosh, I got that good dude though. Why did I jump down to my death? I just always need to have freaking Scorpion, Hammer, Thunder, and... Oh and ricochet protection on at all times, because that's what everyone uses. It's so obnoxious. It seems like that's really the meta right now. Ricochet, thunder, hammer. It can kind of get annoying though, because I feel like the gameplay is very stale right now. At least using those turrets. I enjoy using other turrets, but 
using low turrets is starting to become a bit overdone. This combo definitely has a high skill barrier, so if you're up to learn how to use Magda a lot better, it's, it's pretty fun. I'd say go for it if you're up to learning a new turret. And with Christmas sales coming around, you guys can upgrade your magnums and such. Well, this thing definitely has a really high skill barrier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to try out this combo or if you think this combo is worth giving a shot. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in a future one. Peace out.